Thank you very much. And we're also going to look at safer ways to use your cell phones, so please stay tuned. Uh, we're just getting uh, set up here. I'm, I'm sure uh, most of you have a mobile device and you know the conveniences. You may have heard of the health costs. Today we're going to tell you the safer solutions. Some of, summary of the science, which always helps boost the motivation, but really we want you to know it's not just cell phones. Um, most of you people staying in the Palazzo or the Venetian, sleeping here? Anybody sleep well last night? Unmedicated? Just one? Good. Let me know how you do after three nights. Um, in the front row here is uh, one of the contributors to our book, Robert Metzinger, who's a professional tester, and he has uh, tested the fields here. Uh, they are extremely high. Do you want to take this guy away or close it up or something? Thank you. And we also have Dr. Dietrich Klinghart, who is also a contributor to the book uh, here. And uh, after this, at 2.30, we're going to be in the exhibit hall. We have a little uh, a table there uh, by, the, um, by the bookstore. So yes, this is the digital age. Um, I would ask if you would be mindful of others, and also for your own health, if you would power off your mobile device, that means not just the sound, but the signal. Because whenever it's in the sending and receiving mode, you're being affected by that radiation. So a lot of you are anti-aging experts. And uh, so I'm sure you recognize these symptoms as being common symptoms of aging. What you may not know, colleague, a scientist, Dr. Magda Havas, has called this rapid aging syndrome because electrosensitivity, the exposure from the radiation from mobile devices, I don't know, say mimics, but is very similar to the natural process of aging. So this is really a new challenge, as if we didn't have enough challenges in the world, how we're going to keep connected, keep going with the digital world, but keep our brain cells, our heart cells, and keep ourselves healthy. There's a lot of chilling predictions, and one is that, that we are going to see a global pandemic of early onset neurological diseases. That the diseases we expect in the elderly, we're going to be seeing younger and younger. So this is a new factor I would propose in anti-aging, but also a factor that I want you to consider in the interventions that you're using. I'm sure you're all skilled healers, you know the best pharmaceuticals, you know the best nutraceuticals. You do the best energy medicine work. But you may not be getting the most effective benefits from your interventions unless you reduce the EMF exposure. The reason why I have uh, such a strong connection and respect for Dr. Klinghart is that is at the top of all of his protocols um, is reduce EMF exposure. It's particular the data pockets of information. It's called the information carrying radio waves. These are digital, these are pulsed, these are jagged, these are harmful. They're not the same as the natural Earth's electromagnetic fields. It's not the same as the Earth and the Sun, nor is it the same as older analog phones. There's something called the near field of radiation around the antenna, whether you can see it or not, what's seven to nine inches, the most intense plume of radiation. That's why the number one recommendation, never hold a mobile device right against your head. So I want you to think about these factors, proximity, intensity, vulnerability, duration. We did a testing at a school. We have a, a group called Doctors for Safer Schools, and I hope you will consider joining us, doctorsforsaferschools.org. Please don't go online to find it right now. But we did a testing at a school. It actually it broke my heart. This was a school that was had wired internet access, but they brought in Wi-Fi specifically for the special needs class. The special needs class, they were they were with iPads, <clears throat> wirelessly connected. We did testing in there. The levels of microwave radiation were just the same as if these children were underneath a cell tower antenna. We did testing of the electric and magnetic fields. And these uh, were just as if these children were under a high voltage power line. So there is a concern, there is evidence, 
and uh, we need you to know about this condition. We need you to participate. So one of the things I'm going to tell you is the government standards. Now, government standards aren't a little bit off. Government standards are way off. If you look at this chart, and this is also in our book, um, you'll see Dr. Martin Blank has found adverse biological effects at 0 0.1. These are microwatts per square meter. You don't need to know that. It's just the units. So 0 0.1 then in the daytime measures should be below 10, sleeping uh, below 5. And look at the bottom. What are the levels that are allowed? Unbelievable. 2 to 10 million. 